He has slowed down a little bit, taking little breaks there to put chalk on his hands to keep from falling. Looks like he's trying to plot his next move. Looks like he's trying to plot his next move here. Okay, we're getting a side view of him there as he climbs. You see he grips the side. It's like he has special there. climbing shoes too. It does look like it. I am not a climber, so I'm not familiar with the climbing gear. Well, he but has. It looks like there the, is not much there. Well, yeah, he has the chalk and and all of that. I mean, you are climbing this without a safety net or a harness. So, you see his facial expression there. He he looks like he's kind of realizing the gravity of what he's doing. He looks like a, a younger man. Yes. Um, looks quite young. Looks quite young. Once again, not sure who he is, why he's doing this, but he is getting very close there to where firefighters and I'm assuming police are waiting for him. Right now he's got a view from the Devon Tower. He likely may have a view from the county jail coming up after they check on him. They are waiting for him there at the top right now. He is getting closer. So the Devon Tower is 844 feet. Okay. Tall. 844 feet, and he's got what? Six, well, six, ten there, feet he's left not, to go. He's not going to the top, top, but still, you're about 800 feet up, and it took him approximately 50 minutes to climb it. Um, obviously, we never recommend doing this. We're as he still at any moment could fall. Yes. <laughs> And it looks like he's choosing to climb past the first responders. They are all watching is him he now. Going to climb toward them. This is the pivotal point. They're is he going to turn? They're probably not saying so friendly things to him. <laughs> Our first responders are always there to help. They're they brave. Are. They want the best outcome for this man. I imagine they are asking him to coax him down safely. Come back over. Yes. Up. Oh, they're talking now. Yeah. He, is, he keeps going. He's going past the first responders. He could have climbed over there toward them. Now, what, where is he going? What is he doing? Help is right there. Mason, it looks like he is really trying to go to the very top. Well, yeah. I don't know why, unless it's just an ego thing. But uh, there's nothing. I guess he could go to the top and then climb back down to where they're at. Just for, you know, he, when he's in jail, he can talk about it. So He's got all those first sure. responders who've been there waiting for him this whole time. And he has climbed past them, this very steep edge of the Devon Tower. I guess he's just wanting to say he made it all the way to the top. I'm not entirely sure at this point what he is doing. Well, but you see that he's got a we hope he doesn't have. Shirt. He's talking to the first Just responder. hope he doesn't have something else in mind when he gets up to the top. Oh, no. We've got Ken Ogle joining us right now. Ken, you've uh, worked here in Oklahoma City for a while. Seen anything like this? I don't remember anything like this. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a super, super windy day. I'm sure you guys have been talking about that some, and I can only imagine how windy it is at the top of the tower. I've guessed gusts to 45 to 50 miles per hour gust at this point. Okay, wow. Because really we have gusts to about 28 miles per hour at the surface. Right. So it's going to go up the higher up you go. Holy cow. So Kent, he was more on the north side now, but he was climbing on the west side. So we had a strong crosswind the entire way up. But now it's going to block him a little bit. Well, we're hearing reports uh, that he is streaming this on Instagram currently. We don't need to promote his social media at this time. but no. he's. Uh, streaming this on Instagram. This is a dangerous stunt. I mean, Kent, this is another example of this social media trends going way too far. This is a dangerous and potentially deadly thing this person is doing here. Yeah, and you know, a lot of times when we've seen these spider men, if you will, and, and, and of course a couple have become famous uh, for doing it, usually they're on the type of building that they get to the top, they're taken into custody. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, you know, the Devon Tower, the way it's built, it kind of doesn't really have a top, if you will, at least at the very tip top of the, of the building. It just comes to a point. So you just have this little area below where all the first responders are patiently waiting. There's not a whole lot they can do right now because they certainly don't want to disturb this guy, make him do anything uh, more dangerous than what he's doing now. Very dangerous indeed. We see him climbing back down. I wonder if he's having some second thoughts. I mean, eventually 
you're not going to be able to stay up there and avoid the police forever. Yeah, that's for sure. And uh, I don't know that there's a whole lot of merit to climbing back down and you know exactly uh, what type of charges of trespassing charges or whatever it may be that he could be facing. It looks like, you know, possibly he's addressing the people there at the, at the top and talking to some of the first responders. Uh, the fire department and police department may well have some type of, some type of negotiator there uh, that's trying to work with him uh, to try to talk him into doing the safe thing and, of course, just come right over to where they are and give him, turn himself in. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what the conversations are that they're having at this time, but we know that they have been patiently waiting for him to make it to the top, and now he has made it to the top, and he is hanging there on the side and showing no signs of coming back down at this point. It's a dangerous situation. Piercy has got his hood on his back on his head right now, and he's there in the wind. We've been trying to make out what it says on his shirt. We're not entirely sure. He's got to be getting fatigued, you would think. You know, for sure. Mason Dunn uh, in McIntyre Law Chopper 4. Uh, I know you guys are keeping a nice steady shot there with our camera, but uh, the winds just really must be. I mean, I'm sure you can feel it right there in the chopper. Well, been fighting the winds a little bit. As I told Emily earlier, we're in a hover and I'm showing 35 knots on my airspeed indicator. So the winds up here are a little stronger than on the ground. Uh, I would imagine that they're 35 to 40. And uh, it looks like he's climbing down, so hopefully he will climb over to the uh, first responders there, and this will be this will be over with. So, Ooh, saw his feet hanging uh, for so a second. like I said, we don't condone this. We hope he makes it to the top or makes it back down safely. So, let's hope he's doing exactly what you said and making his way over to the first responders that are there. He's not stepping around that beam at this point, which he'll have to do to, to make it over to where they are. Uh, I'm a little surprised there's a oh, firefighter coming to oh, talk to him. Oh. He is swinging around that it now. That was a big swing right there. That yeah. made me nervous. Yeah, for sure. All right, not, let's see. Not a whole lot to hang on to not there as he's much. coming across. I'm almost surprised they haven't offered him a line of some sort there. Whoa, that big step there. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess he got his point across on whoever's following him on and social media. Going into custody right yeah. there. Uh -huh. There exactly. go the handcuffs. Oklahoma City Police right there on scene. A swift arrest. And you have to think that they'll be talking to him, uh, possibly getting some psychiatric help to talk to him to try to find out what in the heck he thought he was doing. But all has ended at least uh, safely. So there's some good news there. Yeah, a dangerous situation. Once again, just to wrap this up, almost an hour ago, we received reports that there was someone climbing the side of the Devon Tower, the tallest building in Oklahoma City. This man climbed the side of the building with just a bag of chalk and maybe some climbing shoes, no water, no climbing gear, no apparent parachute, anything like that. He has made it to the top, and he is in handcuffs. He has been greeted by Oklahoma City Police. Well, hopefully after they debrief this man, we'll get a little bit more information from our, for our reporters on the ground. We'll have more on that coming up for you uh, today during our noon newscast, of course.